Fast food is a pain in the butt every single year, bro. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and I make content related to, to locks, nursing, and lifestyle. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be making a video about how I pay for nursing school. So if you're interested in learning how I pay for nursing school for free, I don't pay for anything at all, then go ahead and keep watching. Guys, like I mentioned, I go to school for free. I don't pay for tuition. I don't have to pay for gas to go to school. I didn't have to pay for my uh, scrubs. I don't pay for anything and I'm gonna give y'all the tea on how I pay for school because I'm not a gatekeeper if I can help y'all in any kind of way so that y'all are not stressed out and y'all can focus more on your academics rather than how to pay for school and all of that then I'm gonna do it so let's go ahead and get into this video so I applied for this program last May before I got into my nursing program um, and it is called the Nurse Corps Scholarship Program. Y'all, I don't know how I came across this, this program. I think I was just like Googling um, nursing scholarships or um, something along the lines of that. And this program popped up and I did my research on it. And I was just like, hmm, like, wow. It kind of shocked me that they pay for your tuition and you get a monthly stipend every month while you're in their program. So I was just like, why not apply? Like, just why not? It sounded way too good to be true. But I did my research on it and it's it's legit. So, yeah, it's called the Nurse Corps Scholarship Program. And I want to just start by saying that the deadline for the scholarship is May 5th at 730 Eastern Time. It's the perfect time for people to start, you know, looking for scholarships for the next academic year. And um, y'all have some time to start preparing and applying for it by that deadline. So, okay. so now I'm going to talk about what they give you when you um, are accepted into this program, right? They give you, they pay for your tuition. They give, they pay for any eligible fees that they have um, related to the program. They pay for reasonable costs, such as your books, your clinical supplies, um, any instruments or uniforms that you have to buy. And on top of that, you get a monthly stipend, y'all. So the monthly stipend is approximately like $1,000 every month. So that's what you get in exchange for, here's the part that people don't really pay attention to, in exchange for a minimum of two years um, at a public or private healthcare facility that is called a critical shortage facility so i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and do your own research on what that means a critical shortage facility and think about if that's something you want to do or not like i said i did the research for myself and i was just like i can do that for two years like i'm perfectly fine with that if they're gonna pay for my tuition and give me a monthly stipend say less so i'm gonna let y'all do y'all research on what that is and um if that is something that you would be okay with doing after graduation um and if so go ahead and get to applying for it so like i mentioned before the deadline for the scholarship is may 5th at 7 30 p.m okay um and this is eastern time i don't know where y'all live at but eastern time okay so just keep that in mind um i also want to mention that this is a highly competitive scholarship program um when i got accepted into this program they had like this, um, I think it was like a new acceptance web webinar kind of thing. And they was talking about how they had over 7,000 applicants across the U.S. And they only selected 200 students. I'm not saying that to like to my horn. I'm saying that so that y'all, when y'all are applying, y'all can take it serious. You know, there's stuff y'all got to do. Um, you have to submit your resume. I'm about to get into all this stuff in more detail. But you got to do your resume. You got to get letters of recommendation, all that kind of stuff take it seriously because this is too good of an opportunity in my opinion to just have do it so take it seriously when you're applying because i really 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 do think that it's a very 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 beneficial program to, uh, to be in so now i'm going to get into the requirements to apply for it okay so you have to be and if you see me looking now i wrote down all this stuff on my ipad so that i can give y'all the best and more updated information okay 
So, um, you have to be a U.S. citizen, national, or permanent resident. You have to be enrolled or accepted into, wait, enrolled or accepted as a full-time student in an accredited program slash school of nursing. So, either or, okay? And then you have to start classes before September 30th um, because by then they'll have um, already sent out the letter saying that you either got it or you didn't get it. And then they'll start sending out um, more information on how to get your monthly stipend and all that kind of stuff. And then um, you just have to submit and complete the application to do so. So it sounds easy enough. Like I said, this is not going to be like in detail everything that you need to do i'm just giving y'all the most basic information but i will link this uh scholarship program the link to it down below so that y'all can have easy access and y'all could do further research on the program for yourselves to decide if this is something you want to do or not okay so the benefits of this program are already i already kind of discussed it a little bit but you get a monthly stipend i'm stuck on that like I was stressed out coming into nursing school about how I'm going to have to pay for gas and I'm going to have to be like asking my mama for money for gas, my daddy for money for gas. Am I have to am I going to have to work? Like I ain't never been the type of student to work and go to school. If you do, props to you, but I can't. Like I need to just have my brain focusing on one thing and that thing is academics. I can't focus on nothing else. So, I was blown away about the whole uh monthly stipend thing. I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to need to try to get this uh, scholarship because that would relieve so much stress off my shoulders, for real. So, the monthly stipend kind of secured it for me. And then they pay for your tuition. Like, whew. If you anything like me, FAFSA is a pain in the butt every single year, bro. Having to complete FAFSA every year and then something wrong with your FAFSA, you got to submit further documentation all that kind of stuff it is so annoying I have to go through that every single year now being in this program you still got to do FAFSA but like if something wrong oh well because you still gonna get you a scholarship so it really don't really matter right so um those two things the tuition is paid for the monthly stipend <laughs> what else can you need out of a scholarship like so those are the biggest benefits that I want y'all to take away from this on why you should even consider applying for this program okay next i want to get into the application requirements so there's basically like two parts to it there's an online application and then there's submitting required required supporting documents okay so for the online application you're going to do an eligibility for screening so this is basically making sure that you know you are a u.s citizen or whatever other stuff I named earlier that um, you actually qualify to get this scholarship, right? The next thing you'll do is submit full-time status confirmation. So making sure that you're full-time because that is one of the requirements for the program. Um, you're you're going to submit your general information. They're going to get your background information. They're going to get your degree information. So are you doing A, what is the associate something or BSN, whatever? They're going to get that information from you. And then you're going to submit your two letters of recommendation. The two letters of recommendation, there's going to be one that has to come from somebody that's an academic professor and then somebody that's not uh, non-academic. So I think I submitted one from my, uh, I was in the org on campus and I got my uh, advisor for that organization to submit one on my behalf. So yeah. Next, the required supporting documentation. There's some forms that you have to complete. I'm not even going to name all of those. Um, and then you have to submit proof of status as a U.S. citizen or the other ones that I had listed earlier. So um, your nationality card or your um, birth certificate, Social Security, whatever they ask for, you're going to have to submit that. And then um the official student a report and this is that you this is what you get on the last page of your fast foot it's like it tells you your estimated family contribution all that kind of it gives you all that information on that last page you're gonna have to send that to um the scholarship people so that they have that i don't know why they need it but they want it so you're gonna have to send that to them so like i mentioned earlier you're still gonna have to do your fast foot but i mean it really don't matter what they give you or what they don't give you and then the tuition and fee schedule this is something that you'll get from your school your um i think it's your bursar's office or something like that and it's basically like line for line detail for detail what 
each cost out of your tuition what what that is and all that kind of stuff so it kind of just breaks down your tuition and fees and what um what all you're going to be paying for or they're going to be paying for and then at the very end you'll do the completed essay questions there's there's two i didn't write down what those questions were but um they were fairly simple and then you're going to submit your resume going back to the essay questions i want to just talk about this for a little bit because i don't want it to like um deter anybody from applying for this because me i have never been the type of person to like sit down and take time out of my schedule to um write an essay or something for like a scholarship program because i just hated writing i've never been good at writing but i, I kind of just said suck it up and do it for this scholarship program because it was too good of an opportunity to pass up on but um y'all don't let the essays like kind of deter you from doing it they were fairly short 300 to 500 words the topics were very simple like it was just no reason for you not to do it right i don't want that to kind of like deter anybody from applying because i know essay questions and all that can be kind of intimidating essay questions can be kind of intimidating when it comes to applying to, for scholarships and stuff i'm telling y'all now these scholarship questions are not difficult or hard they're not asking for for a lot for y'all to complete them um and i really do think y'all should look into it and i already mentioned that the last thing you have to complete is your resume so i wanted to give y'all this information about the scholarship program and i wanted to encourage y'all to go ahead and look into it and apply for it um please do your research don't apply for it and then you figure out that you have to work at a facility a critical shortage facility for two years and you're like dang kayla didn't tell me that yes i did and i also told you to do your own research okay but i i truly do believe that um you getting the best of both worlds so um do your research on it apply for the program don't forget the deadline is may 5th at 7 30 eastern time okay and then if you want more information i'm going to link the scholarship in the description box like i said earlier and then there's a webinar that they're going to be holding if you want information on the scholarship as well there's one april 14th at 3 and it ends at 4 30 eastern time and then there's another one april 28th for the same exact time 3 to 4 30 eastern time okay thank y'all so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video <laughs>